Hi, it's Rich from Planet PE, and today we are gonna have a look at all those things that happen when we exercise. So we call those the effects of exercise. So we need to understand today the immediate, the short-term, and the long-term effects of doing things like this. So if you are new to the channel, please make sure you check out all the social media links that you'll see in the description. And also, if you are already a subscriber, click that bell so you don't miss any of the notifications about when I upload videos, because it is getting to that point of the year where those mock exams are becoming more and more important. So let's carry on and look at the effects of exercise on the body. So if we have a look at this guy that definitely isn't me, um, doing some weight activities. So along the way, there's gonna be some sort of impact on the body. Now, as I said in the intro, we've got three different effects that you need to understand. We have our immediate effects, our short-term effects, and our long-term effects. So basically what that means is the immediate effects are those things that are happening right there and then when you're training. The short-term effects are generally up to 36 hours after exercise, and then the long-term effects are because of months or years or weeks of training, and that means that your body has made some sort of a difference. So let's start by looking at the immediate effects of exercise. So for the immediate effects, now this might be that I'm doing weight training, I'm doing Pilates, I'm doing yoga. Generally, it's all gonna be the same. So these immediate effects are happening because we are doing some sort of physical activity. And they're pretty easy ones. They're ones that probably year sevens would understand. So really, there are three main um, short-term effects of exercise. So the first one is that you're probably going to get hot and sweaty. So you're going to have some sort of increase in body temperature. That is the one. The second one is that your breathing rate is going to increase. So it increases as far as the rate, but also the depth. So it generally means that you breathe harder and you breathe more often. And the third one is that your heart rate is going to increase. So if you get any question asking about the immediate effects of exercise, they are the three that you need to know. Now those immediate effects are happening because the body is needing to have some sort of a change so we're able to exercise. So the fact that we get hotter is and we start to sweat is because the body is increasing temperature. So things like the fact that the blood's rushing around the body and we're getting increased friction is a reason why we're gonna get hot and sweaty. The reason that we're gonna get sweaty is because we're getting hot. So it's all a bit of a um, bit of a like for like thing. It's almost happening because something else is happening. Now, as you start to exercise, you're gonna increase carbon dioxide uh, in the body. So therefore we need to get rid of it. Also, you're gonna need more oxygen. So the reason for the increased breathing rate and breathing depth is to get rid of those waste products and also to make sure you get in enough oxygen. Now, linked to that, is obviously we then got to get those gases and the nutrients around the body. So therefore our, our heart rate has to increase to meet the demands of the environment, to meet the demands of our exercise. So when we look at immediate effects of exercise, then therefore we're looking at those things that happen right there and then. Now, when we start to look at the short term effects, they are happening almost after training. So anywhere between you stopping training and 36 hours after. So let's go on to look at those short-term effects of exercise. So those short-term effects, they are typically the things that you're gonna feel after you've exercised. So you think, let's say we've gone for a run and I've been pounding those streets and going over and over and over again. I then finish my run. Well, that's where we start to think about these short-term effects. So after that run, I might feel a bit fatigued, a bit tired. Now that is a short-term effect. Okay, I'm feeling tired from the things that I've done. Now I also might feel a bit lightheaded. So, you know, I've been running quite a long way, I've been trying really, really hard, I've been getting that blood going around the body, I've been trying, you know, to beat my time, try and beat my personal best, or just training as I always train. But I'm still probably gonna have some of these short-term effects. So alongside that lightheaded feeling, I might actually feel a bit sick. Now what we call that is nauseous, or we call it nausea, if is a, as far as an effect. So you might actually feel a bit unwell, a bit sick from what you've done because maybe you've created lactic acid, you've worked harder than you used to, maybe you needed fuel that wasn't there, lots of different reasons. Now, that nausea feeling is normally pretty normal and it's the sort of thing that when we teach people in PE, you know, we have to talk about, you know, you might feel a bit ill after doing this or you might feel, you know, that you've worked hard and that's perfectly normal. So that nauseous feeling is, is one of those short-term effects. 
you might well, within a day or even a day and a half after, get what we call DOMS, so delayed onset of muscle soreness. Now DOMS is that kind of aching feeling that you're gonna get in your legs. So because there's been some sort of a change that's going on, your body's starting to maybe adapt to it, but more importantly, there's been more done than maybe your body's used to, you're gonna get an aching feeling in your legs, what we should call DOMS. Now that's not happening straight there and then in training, it might be a day after or even 36 hours after. So something to look out for if you are just starting your training in maybe in PE or even in, in the real world. We also then start to look at the fact we might experience cramp. So cramp, you know, might actually be the thing that's stopping you training, that's why it's a, a short term effect, or it might be something that you start to feel after. Now, depending on your exam board, there are different um, reasons for why we get cramp, but generally it's the fact that when we're exercising, we're gonna be dehydrated and we're losing lots of salts and things like potassium, what we call electrolytes. So they are the short term effects. Like I say, they are happening up to 36 hours after you've trained. So let's carry on now and look at the long term effects on the body from training. Now, as much as we would like to go to the gym once and we'd like to maybe think, oh, I'm gonna be great, I'm gonna suddenly get stronger, I'm gonna get fitter, I'm gonna get faster, I'm gonna do whatever. It doesn't actually happen like that, sadly. So if I train once, you know, and never go again, I'm not really gonna have any long-term effect from that training. Now, if I trained maybe three times a week for six weeks or for 12 weeks, I'm gonna get some sort of a change in my body. Now that's what we call a long-term effect. So one effect that we might have is that you end up with a lower resting heart rate. So that's a sign that because of your training, you've experienced what we call bradycardia and therefore your heart's stronger and has to beat less often. So that is a good effect, a good long-term effect for training. Now, we're gonna get some other things. So you might see that you get a different body shape, which is generally what a lot of people are going to the gym for. You know, some people aren't going there to get better at a sport. It's generally for kind of a vanity thing. So they're looking at trying to change their body shape. Now that might include things like include increasing their muscular strength, increasing them, their flexibility, increasing their cardiovascular fitness. Any of the fitness components, if you were to improve them, that is a long-term effect of training because it has taken you weeks and months of training for that to happen. It's not just a one-off event. Now, we're also gonna see that we're gonna get maybe an increased size of our heart. So you get something what we call a cardiac hypertrophy. So cardiac hypertrophy is when your heart actually increases in size and strength. Now, this is a long-term effect of training. This is something you want to happen. You want your heart to be stronger. You want your heart to have to beat less often. You want your, heat, your heart to be able to beat harder and stronger when it needs to. So the fact that we've seen some marathon runners recently breaking ridiculous records like under two hours for the marathon, it's because over years and years of training, their hearts have got bigger and stronger, their muscular endurance has got better, their cardiovascular fitness has got better, and generally their body has just got better at doing what it needs to do. And that is the reason we train, because we are aiming to get these long-term benefits, but that can only happen if you train for weeks and weeks and weeks and years and years and years, and many times a week. So those people who might be in PE going, oh yeah, I wanna try and lose some weight, I wanna try and get stronger, and they go in once a week, they're probably not gonna find they're gonna get the same kind of benefits as if you went more than once a week, if you started to use those fit principles that we'll look at in a future video. So these are the different things that we're looking at. So we've had our immediate effects, we've got the short-term effects, and we've got those long-term effects of exercise. So those long-term effects, again, thinking about body shape changes, improving in specific components of fitness, um, and also those aspects that you're gonna get about the improved heart efficiency as far as bradycardia and cardiac hypertrophy. So they are our effects of exercise. A little bit longer video than we're trying to plan, but again, when there's more content, it's what we've got to do. So again, if you haven't already, please make sure you check us out on social media. It's all planet underscore PE. Also check us out on, um, on the comments. If there's anything that you would like us to do differently, I say us, it's only me, um, then please comment in below and please, please, please make sure you keep watching because it's going really, really well. I'm seeing lots of people saying that the videos are making an impact on the things they do. And that is the whole reason I make them. 
So good luck in anything you've got coming up. And again, if you've not seen them before, check out the playlist so you can see all the paper one topics and all the paper two topics that are in separate videos. Um, again, if there's anybody got any mocks coming up, then please put the dates in um, the comments below. My group, I know, have them um, in two weeks time, so I will definitely be doing a live session before that. So good luck and I will see you again very, very soon.